So we gotta go help raiders. Cause, cause the DM says you have to. Yeah, that very much is what it feels like. <laughs> Someone's hit. Mercenaries. Oh. Hellcat mercenary. They go round. They go meow. They go round. Mm, we're all incorrect. They go bark. I will not punch the lady in the face, even though she is very annoying and kind of hypocritical. What? I don't know, man. Oh, uh, this hollow tape's very interesting. Okay. Uh, Ultrasight, the energy source thing. Yeah. That's what the scorched are covered in. Huh. And apparently, depleted Ultrasight reacts very badly with regular Ultrasight. Some <laughs> dude wants to make a weapon out of it. So basically, the a new type of nuke. I guess. I mean, it feels like, hey, we should make something worse than a nuke. That'll help things. Right. Speak to Marsha. Fine. All right, Marsha. No, you couldn't. Okay. Can we talk? Look, I'd rather focus on finding Tina and Burke, but if it'll get you moving, then say what you want to. What about the people you left behind at Fort Atlas? I'll miss them. But I need to start living my life for myself instead of others. I never asked to be taken to Fort Atlas. That decision was made for me. Being around the Brotherhood and watching them take charge is a constant reminder of how my mother died. I can't keep watching them do that to others. I never wanted to be the sole caregiver of Max, either. He's happier staying at Fort Atlas with Night Shin. And I can't be a good guardian for him in a place that causes me so much pain. I'm finally taking charge of my own life and doing what I need to do for myself. And that's why I became a raider. I mean, like, those are all good reasons. Like, they're legitimate, like, that, yeah, that's a healthy thing to do. But, like, the raiders? <laughs> That is inaccurate. Right? I know that raider life is dangerous and filled with stealing and murder. Do you? I don't believe that. If they were different, they'd do something like Foundation. They wouldn't be raiders. Okay? Right? Oh my god. Okay. These are, in fact, elevators. Third floor. Yeah. Leads to nothing. All right. They're pneumatic elevators. I. That sounds terrifying. Doesn't it? <laughs> that was a great sequence from to hear from a distance. Oh, <laughs> what'd you hear? Put down your weapons and submit to authority. Smash, 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 explosion. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, so what's the difference between mercenary groups and? Uh, I guess, raiders? Gangs? In this world? Uh... I mean... I guess you can make the argument that, uh... 
mercenary groups, well, they'll, they'll take on any job if you pay them. Hmm. While the raiders just roam around and take. I guess that's fair. Like, you could, in general, if they're a good mercenary group, hire them to protect you from raiders and they won't stab you in the back. Hmm. Well, if you ask yeah. raiders for help, they'll just take your shit, shoot you, and then laugh while you're down. Yeah. Hey, look, a clue. But then again, these guys could just also just be assholes and do the same thing. But it'd be like, no, 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 we're mercenaries, we're legit. Yep. I've never seen them Really? He was killed thanks to the Brotherhood of Steel. They really don't want to Was it the Brotherhood of Steel that killed your mom or was it Raiders? How much you want to bet this Raider group is the one who killed her mom? Oh my god, right? Max and I will keep her memory alive. Maybe I can tell you about her sometime. If you want. At least you know that Burke and Sheena made it to AMS. Let's keep looking. But no, they died because of the Brotherhood of Steel, not the raiders that were attacking and the Brotherhood of Steel were trying to defend from. Yeah, but they failed, though, so it's their fault. Right. Not the raiders who attacked. No. The people who tried to defend. Uh, they shouldn't, hate this line of reasoning. They shouldn't have even tried it all, then. They should have just let everyone die. This is This is very much a long side quest to pad out things. Yep. Because, I don't know, the super mutant problem seems more like a problem. Yep. But we want you to sympathize with the raiders. Well, I would if they weren't raiders. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. what are they doing in their free time? Oh, they kill, rape, and pillage. Yes. No. Fuck you, those guys. You know, they could, at the very least, if nothing else, try to be like, oh, hey, um, look, they actually do try to do some good things for the community or something. Yeah, but they do nothing. Yeah. Then maybe you shouldn't have joined the Raiders. Oh my god, right? But then you'd be dead too. Right. You're right. Sheena and Burke are strong. I'm sure they're here somewhere. No, we don't know for sure they're dead. We've got to hurry and find them. Uh, they're oh probably super dead. Good chance. And it's your fault. You sent them here. Animal holding access. Yeah, I could I'd get more XP for picking the lock than hacking the door telepathically unlocking the door. <laughs> no, I'm a high, high enough level arcane trickster uh, rogue. I can huh. do my le uh, range ledger domain. Bad guys. That guy died with his head in the toilet. What a loser. <laughs> Getting swirlied one last time before he died. Oh god. Oh my god. The elevators, the, the, they're the same ones in Futurama. Yeah. I didn't I didn't make that connection until I saw this too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have to talk to her again, right? Gross. I don't think they go out and that. kill people together. I wholeheartedly believe they would stab each other in the back for the most minimal of reasons. What about Max and Ramirez? They'll always be my family. I just couldn't stand staying in that place anymore with the Brotherhood. One day, they'll understand. Hell, 
Maybe they'll even join me. Again, go oh, go oh. live in Foundation or something. We must be getting close. Right. Go somewhere other than, you know, murderers. <laughs> Vampire, make punchy guy. They're coming to get us. They're all oh, they're gonna catch is death. Oh, he's got power armor. Oh, we probably can't hurt him until we take care of these robots. You're in power armor. Why don't you come out here and fight? Right? Fuck. Oh, shit. Robo brain. You're, uh, Ow! Your companion's panicking over there. Yeah, well, she's useless, so I don't give a shit. Ow. Good. Finally. <clears throat> oh, he's got a one, some sort of minigun. Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> I'm coming. Alright, I'm not doing a whole lot to him. Neither am I. This dude's tough. It looks like he has the Enclave armor. I know. I mean, he's beatable. Oh, yeah. Fifty five damage. I don't know, it was kind of nice to have a boss that didn't go down easy. It's true. See, I got... Wow, I got nothing out of that. Stimpak, Psycho, two beers, and dog tags. Yeah. What's in his little room? Was there stuff in his little room? I didn't see anything. Literally nothing. Why were you even in here, my guy? I mean, he was there to hide. All right, Marsha, let's talk. Do we? She may care. Letter was signed by a B. I wonder if B is Burke. I mean, probably. Right. Burke's betraying them, therefore shattering her illusion of family. And we're all gonna just be like, oh no, who could have foreseen this? Motherfucker. Fancy. You know, these mercenaries act like they're badasses, but so many of them have, like, the pipe revolvers and shit. Yeah. Like, the worst I can't respect anyone. Game. <laughs> I can't respect anyone that uses homemade guns. I just can't. <laughs> oh, good. She's not afraid to kill us. I. The feeling's mutual? Shocking. Right. 
sin, daughter. Good work on giving these mercenaries hell, Marcia. Getting like a great addition to the war party. So, can you get us out of here or not? Are we gonna ignore the fact that we are the ones who killed all of them? Thank you. I won't forget this. Nothing that could be of use to us. It seems like they were doing some sort of experiment on people down here. That terminal over there might have more information. How'd you get captured? Shunan was the right choice. Huh. Thanks, Burke. There's just no way we would have made it out of there alive. And I knew Pierce wouldn't just let us go missing. My quick thinking is what kept us alive. Not everything can be won with a fight. Lies. Fuck you, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose to leave them. I... <laughs> Oh. I mean, it's funny. No, nah, I made a deal with the girl. Yeah. Appreciate your help. Don't worry, you two. We'll get you out soon. I could just, I could just dome them right here. I. It's very tempting, isn't it? More than a little. Ooh, a shocking baton. Fine, I'll open the cages. Opening cell doors. Ooh, now I can talk to her. I can convince her to stay with them or come back. Huh. Let me let me uh, let me take some drugs to up my charisma real fast. <laughs> Great mentats. Bam. I mean, like that's the thing though. There should be a third option. Time to die. Tell me what happened to you to your mother from your perspective. It's hard to talk about, but you've been so patient with me. I really ever only talked about it with Ramirez, but sorry. The town that Max and I were living in with our mother was being threatened by a group of raiders. When the Brotherhood came into town, they decided to be saviors. They actually thought it would be a good idea to arm a bunch of ordinary people with high-tech weaponry. When the raiders came, they took the weapons and slaughtered our people. If we hadn't tried to fight back, my mother would still have died. That is not even close to accurate. But they still did the best they could. Like, it's that thing of, you do realize the raiders still would have came in and murdered everyone. You've all shown me that maybe all Brotherhood members aren't the same. But I can't just leave the war party. We're family now. Ooh, Max needs you to not end up a bootlicker. <laughs> You have family at Fort Atlas, too. Hmm. Let's see what the Max needs you not to be end up a bootlicker. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that one. Someone's got to raise that boy to fend for himself. Marcia, no. Why would you go back to them? The Brotherhood are our enemies. I'm not joining the Brotherhood, but I can't just abandon everyone at Fort Atlas. Their initiate helped me see them. I'm sorry. I really am. I'll never forget the way that you all accepted me into your family. I hope that one day we'll be able to see each other again, and it won't be on fighting terms. Thanks again. For everything. I'll see you back at Fort Atlas. Or just go live at Foundation. Hey. Right. Return to Scribe Valdez. Something I can... Welcome back, Initiate. I see that Marcia has returned and in brighter spirits than before. I don't know how you managed it, but... Great work. Did you discover anything else on the mission? We, d we told her how dumb she was. I found a whole lot of stuff. Let's start with the research notes. Oh, yeah. Those headquarters have been a point of interest for the Brotherhood for a long time. I see Marsha was not shy in sharing our intel. Yep. <laughs> Maybe civilians shouldn't be, you know, near where they can hear that kind of shit. Right. 
can't do it. Thank you. More about the incident. I figured you'd hear more about it eventually. Try not to judge us too harshly based on the way Mark attacked. I don't. I agree. <laughs> yeah, just because you lost the battle doesn't mean you made the wrong choice. Right? Fuck. Isn't that the saying? You can make all the right choices but still lose. Yep. Sure. Are, are we not concerned about the super mutants anymore? I'm mad at this whole quest line. 